Hey there guys, today I'm going to show you how to paint Sir William the Peacemaker from the Reaper Bones Miniatures line. First thing you want to do is find yourself a surface that you can ruin. This desk is about as old as the moon landing so it's perfect. Find some old clothes too in case you spill your paint. Clean away any of the casting lines from your model with a knife. Make sure you always cut away from yourself lest your fingerprints be subject to change. And finish off with a file. So today we'll be using the Reaper Paint Pure Black, Honed Steel, Fair Shadow, and Linen White. We can see here I've base coated the model in Pure Black. I've used my airbrush for this, but it's just as quick to do it by hand. It's important to not use any spray primers with Reaper Bones models as the plastic can react badly to the spray. Firstly, we shall paint the armour with honed steel. Give it a good shake, metallics especially are prone to separating. Pop a bit on your palette. I'm using a small piece of plastic card here, but you could just use an old plate. First, we shall dry brush the armour. Ideally, you want to find a cheap or old brush to do this stage, as it will quickly destroy a brush if you're not careful. Wipe most of the paint off on a bit of tissue and then lightly brush over the surface of the armour. Don't worry about going over any of the other areas at this point. So there we see after two layers of light dry brushing we have good coverage of his armour. Next we shall use pure black and paint all of the leather on the model. Just block it in at this stage, making sure that we get his leather straps, his scabbard, pouches, dagger, and the front of his shield. There we go, all his leather is now painted black. Now we just need to base coat his face with two thin coats of fair shadow, leaving his mouth black if possible. Next we take a 50-50 mix of pure black and fair shadow, making a kind of off-grey colour, and paint the cobblestones on his base with this mixture. Finally, for the base coat stage, we're going to use linen white to paint alternating squares on his shield device around the chickens or roosters or whatever birds he has embossed on his shield. This might need two coats to get an even coverage. Now we'll move on to the washes. Wash some of the black down to the consistency of skim milk, gross, and wash this over the cobblestones on his base to bring out the detail. Once this is dry, we need to do some highlights. Take some fair shadow and mix it 50-50 on your palette with linen white. Use this mix to carefully paint the raised areas of his face, his nose, chin and cheeks. Secondly, we'll take a 50-50 mix of pure black and linen white and use this mix to highlight his chickens and his leather. All you need to do is paint a thin grey line around the edges of these details. Take some of your black wash and use this to just shade any parts of his armour that are in heavy shadow, like his armpits and knee pits, just to give it a little bit more definition. And finally, a little bit of linen white, paint his eyes and his teeth, and 
give him some pupils with a small dot of pure black. And there we have it, Sir William the Peacemaker, painted to core level with four paints. Make sure you like and subscribe and check out our other videos. See you next time.